welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite 60 Elias figure. I got mine on ringsidecollectibles.com, as can you, and you could save 10% with discount code MBG at checkout on all your current and future purchases. It supports yours truly, so thank you as always. And it will save you some money as well, which is always a good thing. Uh, I was very excited to get this figure, as I know most people were, of course, as it is his very first Elite figure. Uh, I remember when I went to an NXT show, and it was uh, one of the first times I think he was really debuting. And I thought he was pretty cool, but I didn't think he'd really turn into what he is now. But I did like him, as I thought he was unique, and I'm just glad to see him doing so well uh, today. So that being said, taking a look at him in the packaging, of course he comes with his guitar and his scarf. It's too bad he doesn't come with a shirt as well, but he does come with a build-a-display dial piece with the artwork, artwork excuse me, by Rob Schamberger. It's a really cool mural there that you collect everybody in the set to build, of course. You can see a picture of Elias on this side. It says Elias on that side. And on the back is a picture of him playing his guitar. As a few statistics about him here, and also in the set is Andre the Giant as Giant Machine, Triple H, John Cena, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the package. Alright guys, so here we have the WWE Elite 60 Elias figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty cool figure. I really like it a lot. The guitar and the scarf and everything just makes it awesome. Like I said, I really wish uh, he had a cloth shirt with him as that would have made the figure that much better. But uh, hopefully a future elite of him will have one. I don't even think his future entrance great one will have a shirt either. But it will come with his stool at least, so that's good. Uh, but anyway, besides that, uh, the dial, the display mural painting piece by Rob Schamberger is very cool as always. Um, these are great display stands, so if you've never bought any of them, which I'm sure most of you have, it's just great for displaying them on the shelves and whatnot. And uh, anyway, let's take a look at Elias. I'll show you his guitar first. So this is the same guitar, I believe, that comes with the Honky Tonk Man figures. It's been a while, but I'm sure the new Honky Tonk comes with this as well. So it's very cool. It does uh, break in pieces can be a bit of a pain to put back together so just be careful it does break here and then this piece comes out as well it's very easy to snap back together in that sense so you just pop it um, but I'm not gonna break it all apart just because it's kind of a pain sometimes to reassemble but regardless the detail on it is very nice and he can hold it pretty well too it's too bad there's not a strap to put around him but I don't remember if uh, his guitar actually has a strap or not uh, but anyway Let's look at him now. So here he is. Here's his first head scan. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, reminds me of uh, Damien Sandow a little bit, but I think it looks like Elias for the most part. It's not, let's say it's the best scan maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'm not really sure myself. The scarf is not cloth. It is a thin rubber as you can see. It slides off of him very easily. It's flimsy and whatnot. Um, then of course he's shirtless here. He's got his, uh, bandanas tied around his wrists. It's like the Luke Harper molds pretty much I think. Actually they might be newer molds actually which is cool. So there's detail and whatnot on them. That's a very nice touch. And he has his uh, jeans. They didn't paint the belt buckle. I might have to touch that up on mine. Uh, but he has I think new leg molds maybe? I don't know. The jean molds look new because of the rolled up jeans at the bottom there. So he just has the ball jointed ankles that go up and down his left, as well as left and right. So it's a very simple figure. Looks very good. Uh, highly recommend if you do want an Elite Elias. Of course, him and his white attire is coming in the entrance grates line later this year. Uh, so keep an eye out for that as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for, for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future views you'd like to see me do, and I will see you soon. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com.